Hey guys, it's Jessica from the Hot Keys to Happiness. In this video, I want to go over how we can create a keyboard shortcut to insert the current week's date range. So for example, today for me, it's January 5th, 2023, and I want to create a hotkey that will type the current Sunday date of the existing week with a dash and then the ending Saturday date for the current week. So for this, we're going to use Auto Hotkey version 2. Version 2 was recently released. So if you don't have Auto Hotkey installed or you do not have the V2 version, make certain you go to autohotkey.com and get the V2 version downloaded if you want to write this hotkey along with me. So let's make this hotkey. I've already created an auto hotkey script here. I called it weak range output, and I wanted to make it so that when I hit control alt semicolon, then we want to see the weak range outputted in this format. So month, month, day, day, year, year, from Sunday to the current Saturday. So AutoHotKey has a bunch of different built-in variables that we can take advantage of for this. Uh, they, in their documentation, you can see they have some date and time variables that we'll dig into here. And the two that I really want to pay attention to are the A, W, day. So that's going to give us the current one-digit day of the week where Sunday is one, Monday is two, etc. And I want to look at the a now built-in variable, which will give us the current local time in this pretty standard daytime format for auto hockey. And finally, there's this nice note here that indicates that date and time math can actually be performed with these date add and date diff functions. And we can also format the time with this format time function. If you have used other programming languages or you're familiar with AutoHotKey v1, you know that doing math with dates and times can sometimes get a little sticky. So it's awesome that they've added this date add and date diff function as part of AutoHotKey v2, which did not exist at all in v1. All right, so let's talk about the logic for getting this hotkey working. So the first thing we need to do is we really need to get the date of the current Sunday. So we know what the current date is. We know we can get use A now for our current date, but how do we get over to Sunday and how do we know where that Sunday is? So what I want to do is I want to use a W day. That'll tell me if I'm on a Thursday. It doesn't matter what Thursday I'm on. We're going to get five out of that because it's one, two, three, four, five, the fifth day of the week. And then we can do math to just figure out how far away that is from Sunday. So we know that the weekday number for Sunday is always going to be one. So we can calculate this variable. Uh, let's call it days away from Sunday. That will be our the built-in a w day that current one day digit of the week minus one which is the one day digit for sunday so just to double check if it was sunday that would be one minus one which is zero so it'd be zero days away from sunday if you're on sunday and that makes perfect sense so then we need to calculate sunday's actual date so now we know how far away we are from sunday we know today's date time, so we need to get the date time for Sunday. And for this, remember, we can use this date add function. So let's pop in here and see that it takes a date time. I'm going to refer to this as kind of our base date time. It's going to take a time that it will add to it. And we can actually specify a negative number here if we want to subtract. And then we need to give it the time units. So whether it's seconds, minutes, hours, or days. So we're going to add to our current time. So that's a now. 
we want to add days away from Sunday. But we actually want to subtract days away from Sunday. So we'll use a negative sign to indicate that. And finally, we need to indicate our time units here. And this is, again, days. Well, let's just do a quick check. We will output this to our message box. Sunday's date. We'll save this. Double click to run the script and we'll hit Control Alt semicolon on our hotkey. And here we get 2023, January 1st. So this is perfect. That is giving us the correct Sunday date. So let's move on to calculate Saturday's date. Now we could do the same thing here. We could calculate the days away from Saturday that we currently are and then add. But we already have Sunday's date time. So we're just going to take Sunday's date time and add six days to it since we know that Sunday, Saturday is always six days away from Sunday. So we'll use date add. This time our base date time will be the Sunday date. And we're adding six days. Now, the last thing we want to do is we want to format our dates so that we get them in a nicer format. Otherwise, we're going to see them in this year, 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 month, month, etc. format. So for this, let's go to that previous function, format time, see what we need to put here. So for format time, we're going to need the date time, which is our Sunday dates and Saturday dates. And then we'll need to give it a format string to indicate how we want to see this. So there are all kinds of strings available here to use. I'm going to create a, let's call it date format. And we want to see it in month, month, day, day, year, year, like we have up here. So finally, we want to send these formatted strings and we're going to use send input. This is going to simulate keystrokes and it's the typically the most reliable method in auto hotkey to simulate keystrokes. So we'll send input, we'll use format time. The first time we want is Sunday's date with our date format. In that we want a space dash space. And then we want Saturday's date formatted with our date format. So this should give us what we're looking for. We need to hit save double click our script to run it again. And I'm actually just going to output it right here. So I'm going to hit control alt semicolon. And there we go. We got the current Sunday through the current Saturday. And of course I could put this anywhere that actually uses keyboard input. Here's a notepad. And I actually use this all the time, uh, especially for weekly logs that I create or anything like that. Uh, hope this helps you think of any different ways that you can use it with your daytime formatting, especially using this new date add function in AutoHotKey V2. It's been super helpful for me. Let me know how you're using it in the comments below and what you want to see next. And until next time.